So in this video, I wanna show you how to find your ideal body fat percentages. And I'm specifically saying percentages because there are actually three different numbers you wanna know for yourself. And one being your lowest body fat percentage, the lowest that you should go, the end of your fat loss phase. Second being the highest body fat percentage that you should be at, that means that you're top of your gaining phase, you know when to stop gaining. And the third being your maintainable body fat percentage, where you're lean enough, you're happy with the results, and you can go either direction. And the reason why I wanna define these three and help you define them for yourself and use myself actually as a case study to show you some of my numbers, as to give you an, a guideline and a compass to understand when to switch between different phases and know to also what to expect and what to aim for long term. And by the way, if you're new around here, if you'd like to learn more about fitness, optimizing your physique, your lifestyle, your health, making this sustainable, consider subscribing below. So make sure to hit that bell icon to enable notifications for future videos. And now let's dive into it. So the first thing I wanna do here is give you some examples and use myself as a case study and share with you some of my own data that I've gathered over the last 10 years of doing these bulks, cuts and everything. I wanna share with you this so you can correlate this data to your own situation. So for reference, I'm five feet 10. And the lowest body fat percentage that I aim for is when I'm doing a photo shoot and that's typically around 10% body fat. And my weight at that level is around 164, 165. That's the lowest I go. I don't go below 164. I don't feel like there's a need uh, when I'm doing photo shoots. I know that I'm gonna be super happy at 164, 165. I feel that I'm as lean as I wanna be. I don't have any belly fat left. I don't have any stomach fat whatsoever. I mean, I could get leaner if I was stepping on stage. Of course, if I was a competitor, I would have to get leaner to get all the body fat off from my glutes and from my quads and just get ready for that. But I'm not a competitor. I'm an entrepreneur. I like to be lean, but I don't like to be super shredded all year round. And I know that for me, staying at around 164 is not really that sustainable. I do have to micromanage my nutrition quite a lot. I don't feel the strongest in the gym. My training does start to suffer and I don't make as much improvement in terms of training and my strength. So I don't decide to be there because it's not maintainable. Now, my highest body fat percentage that I go for is around 15, 16% body fat. And for me, that falls around 178. Somewhere around that level where 178, 180 is the highest that I go for. And that's actually quite rare. Sometimes I might dip into the territory of 181, something like that, but it's not very common. And I know at that point that it's time for me to end my lean gaining phase and I wanna get leaner. And this is for a couple of reasons. I don't wanna get too bulky. I don't wanna get too big. And for me that, and as soon as I start seeing my abs fade and I start seeing that four pack turning into a potential like a two pack, I don't necessarily wanna keep gaining because it affects the clothes that I wear, it affects how I feel, I feel a lot more lethargic. I just don't feel like myself. I feel like my best self somewhere in the middle. So I'm around 172, that's really why 173, that's kind of my middle and that's my maintainable, sustainable body fat percentage where I'm still super lean, I mean, for most people's standards, to be honest, the people don't even see the difference between me being at 164 and me being at 171, 172. For most people, they can't tell a big difference. Also, I can't tell that much of a big difference, but in terms of my habits, my nutrition, at 172, I can simply do that through pure intuition, through pure habits, through systems that I built over time, and through designing my lifestyle, I can be lean, I can really enjoy myself, I can stay focused and sharp in my work, but I don't have to micromanage my nutrition and my training as much. So that's really my numbers, that's my data that I've discovered this range between 164, 165, all the way up to 180 potentially. This is where I stand, this is where I'm mainly staying because I understand what my numbers tell me and I know that if I'm gaining, when to stop the gaining phase, when I approximately have to look and be more careful, have I been gaining too much body fat? And then also when I'm leaning down, I wanna make sure that I don't go too lean because it does start to become less sustainable. So I want you to know these numbers for yourself. It's super helpful to know this. And if you're someone five feet 10, I mean, you can take my data and maybe even have better genetics than me. So you can actually have this range be much higher, but that's really up to your genetics and how well your training is and how well everything is designed. But this is really helpful to know and to have some realistic numbers, the natural lifter out there, because there's so many people claiming different things out there saying that they're maintaining at 200 pounds 10% body fat being five feet eight or something like that. I mean, maybe, you know, if you have some incredible genetics, but most likely due to uh, vitamin S or something else, I don't want to get into that. But of course, the natural lifter, you see all kinds of these numbers being thrown around, but I'm giving you some realistic numbers to aim for. And I feel like the, the physique that I've achieved, I'm very happy with it. I mean, of course, like you can always get better and I'm always trying to get better, but I feel like I'm really happy with my results. And 
this range that I'm giving you something as a natural lifter at 5 feet 10 is uh, definitely gonna make your physique look a lot better if you're someone who's achieving these numbers at a much lower body weight. So this is something to aim for and this is the first thing I wanna share with you here so you kinda have a rough idea and what data to aim for. Now the second thing that's really important for me to point out that you have to know is that these numbers are also moving targets. And if you're new to this journey, if you've never been down to 10% body fat before, and if you're 5 feet 10 like myself, you probably will have to go much lower in your body weight to get to 10% body fat and to be as lean. And I remember the same thing happened to me. I had to go way below 160 to get as close to as being lean as now as I'm 164, 165. And I also didn't look as good because I didn't have that lean body mass. I didn't have a lot of muscle at that weight because I was new to the fitness journey and also didn't know what I was doing, which of course didn't help. So over time, as you're getting closer to your genetic potential, this range is actually getting higher. So your range at five feet 10 and my range, what my goal is next time is to not have to go down to 165, but actually to be as big and as lean at 167. And that way I know I've made progress and making that progress really makes me happy. As I'm going through the fat loss phase and I say, okay, 167, I'm the biggest and the leanest that I've ever been at this weight, that's a really good sign for me and I know that I'm doing things right, I know that I'm actually making real progress and my maintainable body fat percentage might be at a higher body weight, which of course makes things a lot more sustainable. And that's really what I want for you. I want you to understand that this is a journey of mastery and this range is actually gonna be moving up. And that's so amazing to know and it's so motivating and so encouraging as you commit yourself to the process to understand how this is gonna change and how this is gonna evolve and how much better your physique is going to look. And also what I'm gonna do here, by the way, at the end, I'm gonna leave a video that's gonna really help you in your journey. If you wanna get leaner, if you wanna get to 10% body fat, definitely check out that video. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button below as well. And if you wanna work with me as your mentor, as your coach, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can check out more details about that. Other than that, I will see you in that next video.